How different would the story be if her name was really Hong Hong Hong? And also, is there going to be a point in the story where everyone is going to blame Haram for the murders of those guards? I mean, technically it was him, but he was possessed by a demon, so not really his fault. Unless Misu does something to stir the pot, then yeah, I can definitely see it happening. So first, we're reminded that the demon took over Haram and goes after Chongi because the demon found his eyes. Next, we see King Songjo worried because of the owls. It basically means blood is going to be shed. And that is definitely a foreshadowing. Next, we see Chongi next to Samshin by a campfire. I love that Samshin, she, she's almost like a guardian angel to Chongi and Haram. Yeah, she's there to protect the two because of what happened to them, but it does feel like a guardian angel type of thing. And then Chongi falls asleep. Later, we see the demon looking for Chongi, but then God Samshin does her thing using her power to hide Chongi from the demon. But the demon does smell her. But then eventually Samshin does trick the demon and make the demon run away in a different direction. Then later on, we see the demon attacking the guards who were looking for Haram, he beheads one of them and then kills the others. Except for Lord Zhang, he fell after seeing the demon and just hit his head on the rock. After Chongi left the campfire, the demon found her and went after her. But don't forget that Samshin did not want her to meet the tiger spirit. And what happens? She met the tiger spirit. Not directly, of course. But then when the demon found Chongi, time stopped for a bit. It was the tiger spirit. She came in and said, hey, you're not allowed here. This is my territory. And then we get this cool CGI fight scene between the tiger spirit and the demon. God Samshin eventually intervened their fight. And God Samshin tells the tiger spirit that the demon is sealed inside Haram's body and needs to be removed. And tells her about who Chongi is. How can Chongi be a vessel for the demon? She tells her that she's going to create it and she has the power to. Then back to Lord Zhang. He wakes up, finds out that the men he was with were killed. Then he heads back to the palace gates, screaming and crying for help. So this is that foreshadow about the owls. Then back to Chongi and Haram. Chongi gave Haram a piggyback ride to the Dai house. This is where Chongi becomes a little fascinated towards Haram because of how he's dressed, how good looking he is, and then he eventually wakes up and switch their position. Now she's on the bottom and he's on top and ask her where he's at. You know, he could have asked her while he was just laying down, but I mean, it is what it is. And then he faints again. Then next, Misu takes Prince Juyang to the scene where the guards were murdered. The funny thing about this scene were the guards there. The first one was they didn't know who Prince Juyang was. They said, I don't know who you are, but you need to leave. Misu told him that this is Prince Juyang. And then once they realized it, they kneeled and apologized for not knowing who he was. And then the second time was with um, Prince, what's his name? Prince Yang Myung. And then the scene happened again. And what was funny was that one of the guards says, what's happening today? It was just a good funny moment. Then back at the Dai house, Haram asked Chongi what was her name. And she was about to say her name, but she was very hesitant. Three times, actually. She was like, Hong, 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 which eventually made Haram think that her name was Hong Hong Hong. <laughs> but then she said her name was Hong Chongi, which made Haram think, oh, she has the same name as the girl. So my impression on this episode, I liked it. It was really good, especially the CGI fight scene between the tiger spirit and the demon. That was pretty cool. This is by far the shortest episode uh, if you think about time. I think it was like maybe 59 minutes and so and so seconds. So, so far, this was the shortest episode. Um, it wasn't as impactful or no, 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 no. It didn't really have a lot of action as episode one or two but it really did show a good story uh for this one it showed that the connection or the relationship between haram and chongi is getting there um we know that their relationship character wise um it started when they were kids 
But now that they're adults, we're going to see that connection really grow and develop. The one thing I'm hoping for is no love triangles, no love squares or anything like that. I would prefer a love story between two people. That's it. <laughs> um, as much as a love triangle or anything more than that uh, could create a good story, but it's so played out in my opinion, so that's what I'm hoping won't happen. And also, I'm getting really tired of seeing butterflies everywhere. I mean, right now it's still sort of summer where I live, so I see butterflies next to my house because my house does have flowers around. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was the gist of the episode in my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.